Okay, I'm going to try to do a quick tutorial on how to do the jaw rig here for this guy. Um, I got here, I already got an armature going. I got my vertex group. I can make his mouth open and close. It doesn't look great, but this is just a this is just an old uh, that's what happens when he gets out of control. Okay. There you can open and close. Okay. Now we'll go into edit mode for the bones here. Edit mode. What we need to do is click out here, press spacebar, add bone. Um, this will be his jaw control. And then you just select the jawbone, go back into pose mode, add an IK constraint, IK solver. Um, you hit your armature as your object, and you put a jaw control as your con as your bone, IK bone, and then I just have to fix the chain length there. Now, when I do this, his jaw follows the bone. Um, what I like to do, let's see, I'll go back into edit mode because I can see that his jaw is acting funny here. And just move it down so his jaw doesn't look quite as funny. As you can And as you can see, I added this jaw way over here. I have to get it right down the middle. There we go. Now that's okay. Okay, now we gotta add some constraints for this limit uh, location for the jaw control. We don't want it to go too, too much side to side. We definitely don't want it to go... Um, then we must select a C space local space. Else you get some weird behavior. And now I realize that I need to let it go in the Y direction and shut it off in the Z direction. And then if we want to limit it so his mouth won't go up inside itself or drop to the floor, we just um, we minimize this and we set some limits at say, I don't know, maybe one will be enough. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. Okay, to build a jaw control, um, shape is the easiest thing. I'd go to find yourself a layer where you're not going to use for anything. You can add any mesh, or you're just building a mesh, a shape, just like you would any other shape. Um, I can make a circle, say. And I can... Uh, Go ahead and uh, remove some of its vertices, and then I can uh, select all its vertices and extrude them, extrude the edge out, Y direction, and I can select all of this and extrude the faces out as a region in the uh, Z direction, scale it down, grab it in the Z direction again. And there we've got a shape that we can use for our jaw control. Okay, so we're in pose mode. We're going to go ahead and go down here, down where you see this object. And right in here, you'll top type in jaw shape. And my control is upside down. But as you can see, it works. If the control's upside down, one solution is to go into edit mode and just flip the bone over. Hopefully, for you, it wouldn't affect anything else. I just flipped it 180. Now, though, there's a tilt to it. Okay, we got to take the tilt out. 
Go back into pose mode and see if that looks any better. Yeah, it looks better though his mouth is too high now. That just flipped around my jaw control. Uh, I've got to change what I limit here. And there's a jaw control that works.